Everyone wants to feel like they've done something in their life. I hope I'm bringing a legacy to some of these kids. They can look back and say, look at Jen, what she did for the community. We have these photos, thank you. That's my ultimate goal. It started actually in Victoria with the recycled dresses. I used to design dresses and get material from all over that people would donate and I would make creative shoots. And so I met a lot of photographers on these shoots and got to watch how they're doing things. And when I got divorced, I had to end up going back to Castledar and there was no one really doing that kind of photography and I still wanted to do my dresses. So I thought, okay, I'll just buy a camera and see if I can get some models and, and, and I did. It just seriously went from there. I always have been involved in sports my whole entire life. So people say, well, do you mind, you know, just go to the swim meet and take a couple pictures or a running race, because all the sports that I used to do. And over the years, it just keeps progressing. I started doing hockey, started to be my focus when the Rebels said, hey, do you want to come take a couple shots? And then when I went to a Smoke Eaters game, Jeff Fontaine said, why don't you come try and shoot the Smoke Eaters? That's sort of how I sort of moved up in the hockey world, the Smoke Eaters. And then I went down to the Spokane and Chiefs and then started doing WHL and moved up from there. I have a great mentor, which is Jeff, who used to work for the Vancouver Canucks. And so I just asked him, do you mind if you send them my portfolio and just ask? And he says, well, it's probably a very small chance, but they saw my photos and they said, yeah, we'll give her a chance for one game. Yeah, well, it feels good, but it's also very challenging um, because you know, people instantly look at you and say it's a woman and sports photographer, they just don't equate the two together. So I've definitely had to prove myself in, in my photos. And you know, the athletes out of everyone really appreciate the photos. And I think that's one of the main reasons I keep doing it. And I grew up with sports and it reminds me about when I was on my team and all that great memories that I have. And I feel like, look at I'm creating these memories for these kids that they will hopefully pass down to their kids. And unfortunately my dad passed away, um, was hit by a drunk driver, and um, I had just started doing photography. I got a bit of money when he passed away, so I was able to get much better sports photography equipment. And um, really at the end of the day, I just want my dad to be really proud of me as well, and so like to prove to him, like, you know, he gave me this money and then I'm giving back to the community. All the hundreds of hours he volunteered for me when I was growing up that I'm paying it for. So. I would say that would be what my, I'm most proud of is archiving a community. My dream would be to shoot the, for the NHL, obviously, uh, but to get a job like that is one in a million, right? So I'm just going to keep doing what I can around here and see where it leads.